How am I looking? Am I looking sexy? No? Well, maybe these three fragrances will help me out. So today's video, I'm going to give you three autumn and winter sexy niche slash luxury fragrances. These are very below the radar. Let's just get this sexiness on the way, shall we? Mm. Now the first one, definitely for the grown and sexy, for the mature kind. La Camellia from Ferragamo. This scent here is fantastic. Now this actually came out this year in 2017. Now this is definitely very below the radar. Now I came across this one when I was at Whole Renfrew back in the summertime. And this actually blew me away. Some of the notes on this one, you got vetiver, gaiac, wood, cardamom, pimento, and nutmeg. Now the most prominent notes that I get, a lot of pimento, cardamom, and nutmeg. This is classy, it is elegant, but it's sexy at the same time. Now to pull this one off, you definitely have to dress to the nines. This is a going out scent, like for a very formal occasion. Opera, a very formal date, tuxedo, formal. It's a very warm, spicy, very masculine, e even though it is unisex, but I do think it's a little bit more masculine than feminine, but the ladies could probably pull this one off, but to my nose, way more masculine than feminine, but please, check this one out. If you smell this one, you just may fall in love with this one. I, 10 out of 10. This here is an adult bon chica wow wow type of scent. Now the next scent was actually my introduction into niche fragrances and man what a way to start it off. Boyce 1920 Sushi Imperial. Now this is just a little travel spray, I really don't need a bottle but this scent here is just sexy. It is gorgeous, very gourmandish. So some of the notes are cinnamon, star anise, nutmeg, vanilla and tonka bean. Now as I stated, it is very gourmandish and it does remind me strongly it strongly reminds me of apple pie or apple crisp coming out of the oven. So you get that steam coming off and you sprinkle some cinnamon over it. This is that. Whew. Now this is a very unisex fragrance. Now unlike this one here, which it is unisex, but I do find it's a little bit more masculine. This one, either side could wear it easily. For me to really pull this one off, just like scent number one, you got to dress up. You could dress up somewhat casually, but you have to have that sense of style. This is going out. This is date. This is like... Now, I just want to state this. Now, my fiance, my future wife, is a big Gordon Ramsay fan. She really does like Hell's Kitchen and MasterChef. Me, not so much. Like, I love food, but I'm a simple kind of guy. I'm not about the presentation. But this fragrance here is kind of like how the dishes on MasterChef are prepared. You know, works of art. The taste, you know, it's it's luxury type of cuisine. This is kind of that. And the final scent is a decant. I don't need a bottle, but I'm thinking about getting a bottle now. Replica by The Fireplace. Now this is vanilla, chestnut, gaiac wood, spices, juniper, and more. This is the perfect representation of By A Fireplace. Rebecca does some amazing works of art. Now, if you're into the whole artistry bit, just the house of Rebecca does an amazing job on these artistic type of scents. This is definitely a very sexy, seductive, grown and sexy, mature, classy, elegant type of fragrance. Now, I know that some younger people will definitely pull this one off and some of them will put up, pull it off with ease. But this is a mature type of scent. You do get like the chestnuts. You get that smoky type of vibe. If you're into artistry, if you're into a fragrance that takes you on a journey, this is absolutely gorgeous. This is a masterpiece. It is a 10 out of 10. But by the fireplace from the House of Replica, is absolutely sexy. Now I hope that these three fragrances will definitely elevate my sexiness, but chances are they won't. So guys, I want to say thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for your time. Take care and I'll see you later.